Now the difference between the two devices, the Weeble 2 and the DJI RS2, when it comes to price point, is around £130. So for the DJI combo package, so without the Raven Eye and Focus System, and the Weeble 2 combo package, there's only around £130 difference. Now for that £130 difference, you're getting a carbon fibre structure with the DJI Ronin, you're getting an interchangeable battery, um, and you're also getting 12 hours of battery life rather than the nine hours of battery life which you get on the Weeble. It takes 1.5 hours to charge up the DJI Ronin RS2. Now you'd say, okay, great, for an extra £130 I can get carbon fiber and I can get interchangeable batteries and I can get an extra three hours on battery life so I can go from nine to 12, but do you need all that? What do you shoot with? If you shoot with DSLRs and you know mirrorless cameras, and they're quite light. You know, the Weeble allows a Sony a7S Mark III and a 24 to 70 G Master, which is quite a front heavy lens. In calculation, I think that equates to around 1.2 or 1.4 kilos, I'm not quite sure. But if that's all you're shooting on, why do you need to pay the extra 130 pounds? This device itself weighs 1.5 kilos and because of the carbon fiber on the DJI RS2, that weighs one kilo. Does that half a kilo make a difference? Maybe if you're shooting for 12 hours and it's in your arms and you're not used to it. But I don't know any environment where you're gonna be holding a gimbal for 12 hours straight. The interchangeable batteries, is that necessary? Are you gonna be shooting for nine hours straight? If you are inexperienced with gimbals and you don't balance it properly and it drains the battery quickly, then yes. But the caveat to that and what you can do with the Weeble is you can actually, through USB-C, is plug in an external power pack to obviously still allow you to run and use the device without having to stop for an hour and a half to charge it up. So it does have an option, whereas if the battery does run out, you can plug in a power bank. Now, like I said, I was initially concerned that picking up another device that I wasn't used to, a completely different brand, that I would be disappointed by the Weeble 2, but I'm actually not. The ergonomics and the layouts, even down to the button system and the focus wheel being on the side here, makes the whole functionality and usability easier. Before we had to adjust our grip and bring our thumb round to press buttons, you know, the, the trigger button on the back has always been in the same place across the board, but on other devices, you've got your, your buttons and your, your joystick and stuff on the front, so you have to almost release the strong part of your grip, which is that curled part, whatever you want to call it, to press the buttons or use the thumbstick. Now it's on the side, so we still get our full use of the grip to wrap all the way around the device so we don't lose any grip on the device. When it comes to the overall visuals of the Weeble, now I'm a sucker for pretty things. And yes, you know, I'm trying not to be biased because I'm a DJI user. And yes, I do love the fact that it's carbon fiber, but just the aesthetics and the colors and the, the finish of the metal and the plastic and the rubberized grip and the way the tripod feet are underneath, like even, even the structure and the change of the way the device is laid out with having this now L shape rather than it just being one solid fixed body, long body like the DJI RS2. I really, really like it. I was blown away by the performance, especially having the FX6 and the counterweights and stuff on top when we took it out and shot. It's really smooth. And one of the other things that I actually really like, and I don't know if this is a purposeful thing or whether it's just different device or different motors, but something that I've witnessed with the DJI RS2 is if you knock it or it's off weight or you give it a knock, it starts to do this like crazy thing where it just goes mental, which is annoying because you can twist up your cables, damage your device. But if you're there filming on a film set and your client's there as well and the, the people in charge are there filming and they see you with this DJI Ronin just having a fit like a little three-year-old child who doesn't get their own way, it almost makes you feel like you don't know what you're doing, but the Weeble doesn't seem to do that. Putting this weight on top of it and having a few errors where I do a barrel roll or do you know a quick movement and it didn't like it because the weight was off or I flicked it too much or whatever, 
it just did a little knock and then just reset itself or it did a little knock and then knock back and then set itself it didn't start doing all this crazy stuff same as when if i went from a high or a low point or i went round to invert the axis itself sometimes the dji ronin just like i says goes crazy and starts spinning but the weeble didn't do that the weeble seemed to be in more control and i don't know if that's down to the motors that zion have used or it's down to the software or the processing chip that it uses or a new piece of technology. The overall control in the Zhiyun Weeble 2 seems more controlled than any other device that I've picked up. How long the charge lasts on the Weeble 2 is nine hours in comparison to the DJI, which lasts 12 hours. However, if you're gonna be using a gimbal on set for nine hours straight, you're a strong human being. I've never used it for that long. I've never had a battery die. And the good thing about the Weeble is yes, the batteries are built in, but the good thing about the Weeble is you can connect a USB-C cable with a power bank at the bottom and you can run it from that power bank. So you can have as many power banks as you need, which are actually cheaper than what the DJI RS2 battery grips are. So to me, that's a no brainer. Now, one of the other things I love that Weeble have done is they place this little toggle switch on the side here, which allows you to change between pan follow, lock follow and follow mode. Now, if you don't want to get the monitor out and you want to flick through the settings, you know, having that functionality of just being able to quickly switch between different modes is great. 